Our subject today is social studies, and our topic is going to be on drug abuse. I know you've been hearing about this word drug abuse, and you know what drug really means, because in our previous class, maybe in grade two, you were taught what the, what the meaning of drugs really mean. And drugs, you know already, it means taking it in the right way, taking drugs in the right way. But today we are going to be talking on drug abuse, which simply means taking drugs in the wrong way. You take drugs without doctor prescription, which means you take it in the wrong way, abusing the drugs. How do we really abuse these drugs? Now, we abuse drugs in the following ways. Number one, we abuse it by taking it without doctor prescription, or you take these drugs when you are not sick, and then taking these drugs as well, maybe when the doctor says take so 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 uh, dose, and then you take more than that, or you take it less, it means you are abusing these drugs. And we also abuse drugs in the way of buying it in the bus, or buying it in the market, or buying it in a shop where it's, where it's not well registered under the medicine um, shop. So these are the ways we what we we abuse drugs. Now, if you look at it on the board, I said we abuse drugs in the following way: taking drugs wrongly, especially without doctor's advice or prescription. B, taking drugs when you are not sick. Many of us like taking drugs, we like abusing drugs. Some of us will just go to where mommy keeps drugs and take maybe vitamin C. And she did not ask you to take it. And then also taking more than what the doctor asks you to take. Or taking less than what the doctor asks you to take. Or buying drugs in the market or uh, in a bus. These are the ways we abuse drugs. We, the pupils, or we children abuse at home, I refer to as one, we have the paracetamol. When mommy keeps this thing somewhere that you're not supposed to go and get it, you go and take it without mommy's telling you to take it or without the doctor telling you to take this thing. And also we abuse this, our blood tonic as well. When mommy says don't take it and she has kept it somewhere, you go and look for it and also abuse it. And also we abuse what we call, we abuse what we call the vitamin C. It, it is not time for you to take that or mommy did not ask you to take that. You go there and take it. Mommy did not ask you to take it because she knows that you are okay. If you are not fine, she will go to the doctor. The doctor will prescribe these drugs and then she will be giving you the dosage. Please, children, I want you to stay away from drugs without doctor prescription or without mommy telling you to take it or without being sick. Now, I've just talked about the drugs commonly abused. Now, we're going to be talking about the drugs often abused. These drugs that are often abused are one, we have the tuberculosis, we have the uh, tobacco, we have the Indian hemp, we have alcohol. Some of us will just see alcohol at home that mommy kept somewhere or daddy kept somewhere, you just can carry and drink without knowing the side effect of this alcohol. Alcohol is also referred to as drugs as well. And so on. With it on the board, you can see that drugs often abused are what? One, tobacco. 2. Alcohol 3. Cannabis 4. India hemp 5. Igbo and so on. We have a lot of them. We have a, a lot of drugs that can be often abused. Now, after this, we are going to move on to the reasons for drug abuse. The, we have so many reasons for abusing drugs. One of the reasons for abusing drugs is as a result of what? Peer group influence. Maybe your peers is taking this or maybe they are they are dwelling on it. And also, you see your peers taking these this, um, drugs and you want to join them. They say if you cannot beat them, then you join them. That's a popular saying that we all know. And after that, maybe aside that, as a result of family problem, you want to take drugs. Okay, let me just take this drug so that this depression or whatever I'm thinking about, we just suppress. But not knowing that after the drugs clears off your eye, your problem still continues. Then we have a lot. With it on the board, we have reasons for drug abuse. One, some abuse drugs as a result of peer group influence, like I said. Two, it is taken for pleasure. You just want to take it, you just want to feel a, you don't like taking it. It's for pleasure. It's fun. You are taking it for fun. You want to play with it. It is taken to feel high, 
because of timidity or maybe because you are shy. You can't talk, you can't say anything in public. You cannot talk to your peers in public. You will just take these drugs for you to be able to communicate with them without being shy or without being timid. Now we are going to move on to the result of taking in of, abuse, of drug abuse. We are going to move on to what the result of what drug abuse. Now if you take these drugs, what does it lead to? Number one, it leads to what? stomach ache. Two, it leads to vomiting. Three, it leads to death. We have a lot of uh, results that this taking or abusing of drugs lead us to. It can lead to death. You die and everybody forget about you. Because what? You abuse the drugs. And it's not good to abuse drugs without doctor prescription. This result, after you can vomit, after vomiting, it's either you collapse and then or you faint. Uh, and so on and so forth. I have a lot of reasons. But before we move on, let me give you this reason. This okay, pupils. We just we are just talking about the result of drug abuse, and I've mentioned some for you. Now, the result of drug abuse are one, like I said, pain, stomach pain, two, vomiting, three, stooling, four, sleeplessness, five, mental problem, six, dizziness. 7. Fainting. 8. Diseases. 9. Damage to body. You damage your, your body when you abuse, uh, abuse drugs. 10. Deformity accidents. You can fall into accidents on your way when you take the drug. You can just walk into a mirror without knowing and then car knocks, knocks you down. And so on. We have a lot of results of drugs abuse. Now, before I leave you, pupils, I'm going to leave you with class activity that you are going to work on and then submit to me in the school for me to be able to assess whatever you have done. If truly you followed what I have taught so far, let us just go through what we have done so far before I leave you with class activity. Now, we talk about drugs. We say drugs simply means the wrong use of what drugs. Now, if you look at it on the board, drugs simply means wrong use of what drugs. Now, we abuse drugs in the following ways. One, by taking drugs wrongly, especially without doctor's advice or prescription. Two, taking drugs when you are not sick. Three, taking more than what the doctor asks you to take or taking less than what the doctor asks you to take or buying drugs for market or maybe in the bus and so on. Now, we talk about the common use of, the common use of drugs. We talk about... Um, the vitamin C at home that you abuse. Mommy did not say you should take it. We talk about blood tonic or paracetamol and so on. Now, drugs often abused are the tobacco, two, alcohol, three, cannabis, four, India hems, five, Igbo, and so on. We have a lot of drugs that you can often abuse. Now, reasons for drug abuse. One, we say some abuse drugs as a result of peer group influence because your peers are taking it you want to join them and take it two it is taken for pleasure for fun we just want to take it as fun and then we take it it is taken to feel high because of timidity or maybe you are shy or you are timid you cannot you cannot talk in the presence of your peers what you do you take these drugs and then you, before you can okay pupils like i said it is taken to feel high because of timidity, or maybe you are being shy, you are timid, you cannot talk in public. You take these drugs for, for you to be able to talk out in the presence of your peers and others. Now, the result of drug abuse, we just talked about the result of drug abuse. When you abuse drugs, what does it result to? One, stomach ache, two, vomiting, three, fainting, and so on. We have to, you have four. A sleeplessness, five mental problems, six dizziness, seven fainting, eight diseases, nine damage to body, ten deformity, accident, and so on and so forth. We have a lot of results of drug abuse. Now, before I leave you, I'm going to leave you with our own activity of which you are going to work on and submit to me in the school for proper check. Hi, right, pupils, these are the home activities you are going to work on. Number one, define the term drug abuse. Number two, list four drugs often abused. You already know, you know more than four. 
These are the questions we have for the day. Define the term drug abuse. Number two, list four drugs often abuse. Number three, state two reasons for drug abuse. And number four, which is the last one, mention five results of drug abuse. People, please do your assignment and submit. And parents also, my advice to you is to please encourage your children to do their assignment and submit to school for proper check to know if they are really following the lessons or not. Please, parents, I beg you, help, help these children for me. Thank you.